Yo, what's up, everybody? It man BK here. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, it has been a minute. Obviously, we haven't done a video since uh, before Thanksgiving. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, you know, that's because a lot of things happened and I didn't have a lot of time. So I'm back. I've got my coffee over here. I've got my daughter right down there and I'm about to go to work. But I had to jump on and make a video because there is a game um, I've been following a lot. Uh, and I decided I want to do some stuff before launch and, and follow it through as I as it happens because I'm super excited. And as you know, because you clicked on the thumbnail. That game is Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Uh, for a lot of people who may or may not know, um, I was a huge Avengers fan. Um, I've honestly been looking for a really good live service, a superhero, DC, anything game, like to soak up and really enjoy for a long time. I played DCU online. Uh, I thought Avengers had some really good mechanics uh, and gameplays, but it had terrible uh, life service elements in in-game, um, hence why it's no longer around. Uh, so it was really exciting to hear about the alpha and to hear how excited everybody was from it and how uh, good it supposedly plays as. So that was awesome. And what was even more cool to see come out of the alpha is Miller. For a lot of people who don't know, there's a guy named Miller Ross on Twitter who was literally the guy who kept Avengers alive like uh, through his leaks. And he is now on Suicide Squad. And there are two leaks I'm going to share with y'all that I am beyond excited about. So, if you're new here, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. I'm super chill. You can join the D the FC family, put the casual family on Discord. And, you know, I appreciate everybody's support. I do this all for fun. I'm a very busy man. I've got a family. I've got kids. Um, but I do love games, and I love to hang out with pe good people, and I love growing a really cool community. And that's what this is all about. So, if you're interested in Suicide Squad, I, I clicked the button. I clicked the button too soon. Uh, then by all means, come over to the Filthy Casual Discord and come hang out with us. But uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the first leak uh, from Miller today that I was really, uh, really, really excited about. This is the, let me punch in, this is the uh, in-game model right here for Deathstroke. This was found by him he data mines stuff that's just kind of what he does and yeah so deathstroke excuse me coffee deathstroke is in the game that is uh, that's cool he's going to be a dlc character it looks like um and this is what his model looks like i thought that was um i thought that was cool this is a great looking model uh and then the, the second one which is the biggest one for me is this notorious notorious items this is this is not elite this is this is a you know playstation 5 deal and but he is saying notorious items which if i click on this is this guy right here three black mask notorious weapons which actually looks pretty cool obviously there's going to be a battle pass to all of this let's not get into that part right y'all like i mean like it's going to be in the game it's a live service game um but notorious weapons are a tier above legendary so this is what exotic weapons are going to look like they're called notorious they themselves are themed after dc villains like black mask um and the vill these specific villains all have logos that are using the ai when observing their respective notorious weapons and he dropped a full list y'all um of what he has found so far and there's bane Barbotas, Bizarro, Black Adam, Black Jack, uh, Black Manta, Black Mask, Catwoman, Count Vertigo, Deadline, Doc Alchemy, Dr. Poison, Dr. Psycho, El Diablo, Executioner, Felix Foss, Firefly, General Zod, Heat Wave, Hugo Strange, Jinx, Killer Croc, Killer Frost, Mad Hatter, uh, Marilyn, uh, Mirror Master, Mr. Freeze, Parasite, Plastique, Polka Dot, Professor Evo, Raz Ghoul, Reverse Flash, uh, Roulette, Scarecrow, Sinestro, Solomon Grundy, Sportsmaster, Talia Ghoul, The Riddler, The Turtle, Trickster, Two Face, and Vandal Savage. What's really cool about this is the interesting things here. He says to note, um, this is he said he's found Killer Croc as well as a DLC item. So he's saying just because they're named in here doesn't mean they won't be DLC or playable characters because Killer Croc is coming as a playable character. Um, and Black Manta's name is obscure. But what I was really interested in is this that notorious items don't see seem to be limited to guns or even just weapons shield mods and charms can also be notorious from what he can tell um and the best thing about them is these are actually game changing weapons uh so 
where is that i believe it's like right here some or perhaps all he doesn't know right have unique status effects that can be applied uh, only be applied to enemies while using the notorious weapon themed after a specific villain and the trailer highlights el diablo guns setting enemies ablaze for example so there's room for many such afflictions which this is huge right this is already better than uh avengers because these are legendary weapons with game-changing modifiers and that is what you need in a live service game and the fact that they're named after enemies and they might be tied to the enemy's abilities and you could have all these really interesting status effects and 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 game changing effects tied to these notorious weapons will make them something we want to farm exactly if that's what you were thinking if not you should have been so this was really exciting to me i cannot wait to get hands on this um it comes out pretty pretty soon and i will continue to cover stuff that miller drops and anything else we see that seems worth covering so yeah you know what Thank you so much all for coming by and swinging by again and watching this video. And I'm Hitman BK, and I hope you liked it. Sound off in the comments if you are going to play Suicide Squad. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think it'll succeed? It is rock steady. They have a very, um, they have a very good resume and have done a really good job, like with the previous Batman game. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked, y'all. I'm pretty stoked. So you know what? Until next time, I'm Hitman BK. Thank you all so much for being here. Peace.